Hey guys, Rose here with another Escape from Tarkov video. As you probably know, the Secure Container is a piece of gear your PMC wears to keep special items even on death. Since that's so crucial, small upgrades to the size of your Secure Container, like one or even just two slots, can be a big deal worth hundreds of thousands of rubles in literally just a single raid. So, I thought I would put together a guide on the different Secure Containers in Tarkov, their main uses, and how you can unlock them. Consider subscribing to the channel to help me out and to stay up to date on all things Tarkov. Let's get started. So, in total, there are six different secure containers in Escape from Tarkov. These range in size from 2x2 two two all the way up to 3x4, so 4 to 12 slots. Secure containers are amazing because they let you bring things like meds, food, task items, and valuables like docs cases without worrying about losing them when you die. In addition to that, they can get out some of the more valuable items, like a graphics card if you happen to find one in Raid. Secure containers can't carry anything though, and are limited to the categories on screen. So for now, let's talk about these cases from smallest to the largest. If you got the base version of the game like myself, you start with the alpha case, which only has a 2x2 two two slot to hold up to 4 items. There is actually a second 2x2 two two secure container called the waste pouch, but it doesn't serve much of a purpose beyond being a trophy item because it primarily comes from the scav case and it isn't any better than literally the worst secure container you have at base zero, right? It doesn't make sense. After these two, we have the beta container, which is a 3x2 case that can hold 6 items max. And you can get this either by owning the Prepare to Escape edition, or by unlocking Peacekeeper 2 and doing a barter. This case is nice for standard edition players, since that level 2 Peacekeeper that you need only requires spending $6,000, although the barter for the case itself can be quite expensive at around 800k rubles in items just off the flea market. After the beta case, we have the Epsilon container. This case is 4x2, so it holds 8 items max, and it comes from finishing the Punisher quest line from Prapper. This quest chain is a pretty long one, but the reward is huge as you get one of the only cases that is 4 wide. If you're wanting to get this case, just focus Prapper quests above everything else, and make sure to save 3 found in raid 60 round mags for the ice cream cones quest. The next largest case, the Gamma, is 3x3, and it can only be obtained by purchasing the Edge of Darkness edition of Tarkov. This case is very nice because you can carry up to 9 items total, so a med case, a sick case, and whatever else your heart desires, and it gets rid of the early grind to get better secure containers, but you can only get it by paying an extra $100 on top of the standard edition cost. So if that's worth it to you, you do you. And finally, we have the Kappa, the Giga Chad of secure containers. This case is 3x4 and holds a whopping 12 slots. That's more than some of the cheap rigs in this game, which is absurd for a bunch of items you literally can't lose. But to go with that absurdity, to get this case, you have to complete the Collector, which is a quest from Fence. And what's so bad about a single quest, you ask? Well, along with us needing you to find all the rare vanity items and turn them in to fence. That's the easy part. Just to unlock this quest, you have to complete almost every single other quest that exists in Tarkov, and that is a Herculean task. Once you do that though, you get the Kappa and a pretty cool armband that says, yeah, I'm a Chad, I completed Collector. And because, you know, you have to do all those steps for it, most players will never complete this and they'll never even unlock the quest. Anyways, I hope this video answers all your questions on secure containers in Tarkov, and if it did, consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel. I want to take this time to thank you for watching all the way to the end, and my patrons for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys all next time, but until then, keep beefy boys. Hello there. Oh, no.